All right. Uh, we've got the armada going. So I will mark out primary objectives in red. Oh, fucked it up immediately. <laughs> All right. All right. I can uh I can just hit done on these cards. Yeah, you you can. I think I spawned everything in for you. So yeah, you can just hit done if you don't need to. Need yeah, them. I don't think I'm gonna need any more of these. Cause there's one of each at least. All right, mixing it up a bit, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, now I have to fucking go over there anyway. Yeah, now you have to. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to mix it up a bit because we did that as a secondary objective prior. Definitely going to try not to actually go off the freaking map this time. <laughs> All right, so, like... Uh, as we're slowly learning Star Wars Armada, so yeah, this scenario, uh, I mean, shit, how many points is this game, roughly? Like, just your uh, base fleet? 130, 2, 260, That's about 300, 320, maybe, if That's you add the numbers including those X-Wings and stuff? Oh fuck no! Uh, two hundred. Is it like just from here over? Is probably like what four hundred points or more. Yeah, that's a that's at least four hundred points. And then this is probably uh, another. Yeah. <laughs> four. So it's probably yeah, it's probably close to yeah, because they're eighty five. It's probably close to like eight hundred points aside. To be honest, I actually might have less points than you, but you know, there's uh advantages and disadvantages to that so. The current scenario is, like we discussed before, Johnny, is that, uh, yeah, rebel station that's sympathetic to your cause, whatever uh, rebel cause that you guys are fighting for, is just went dark, and you guys are getting sent to investigate. You know, there was a small fleet there, and there was also, like, third-party, you know, bounty hunter, smuggler, mercenary types that you guys obviously have used before that were there as well. So primary objectives are rebel, well, are, are actual distress signals, either rebel or otherwise. They're, they're giving off a potential SOS. The blue ones are beacons that are not SOS signals that you guys are aware of. So they're potentially the third party guys uh, just setting off their own distress signal or something like that. So... Um, yeah, primary is red to investigate those areas and check for survivors, and blue is secondary to pick up the potential survivors for the other party. Um, so with that, uh, you are going to have the choice of uh, your transport and hammerhead and up to four squadrons of any kind you want out of your main battle group there. Okay. Yeah, I'll uh I'll take three X Wings and I'll actually use Rogue Squadron this time because I didn't use Rogue Squadron at all. And yeah. And light and yeah, I'll take the combat refits too. I'll take the transports. All right. And the fucking uh, the, the escort vet. Alright. 
Yeah, go ahead. Do your deployment. Is it the same sort of area as, as yeah, usual? Yeah, just this uh, like rectangle over here. Okay. Oh, the on second. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna let you know, Johnny. My food's here, and I'm gonna be eating it. <laughs> so, <laughs> you be aware of that. Um. All right. So at this point in time, you know, we know how the setup and everything goes. At this point, we would select our command dials, and then take turns activating ships. You have no idea if or where my forces are here. So. Nom nom. Select your command dials and let's kick All this right. off, boy. Alright. What's the worst thing for like, you know, if you get your food delivered to you or something? What's the uh What's the worst thing that they could do? Like obviously they can miss stuff, cook it wrong. You know, stuff like that. But, like, is there a certain thing that is, like, a pet peeve for you where it's, like, if this happens, I'm, like, livid? Oh, fuck. I mean, when they... Like... Fuck, I'm trying to figure out how to actually, like, word it. Because it's a weird one, but... Fucking... Is it here? Also trying to set these dials at the same time. No problem. I'm just actually curious. Now the, the the worst thing that I've had for like delivery is like I know it's called different where you are in the states because like I'm in Canada. It's friggin' uh, skip the dishes up here, and they always used to like because I live in a a duplex, which is actually a quadplex because it's two duplexes like smashed together. But they'll always deliver the food to the person on the bottom floor. So I always got to go and fucking go down my little porch. And I know it's like not a big thing because <laughs> I just got to go down my stairs yeah. to the side of my house. But it's like I give them specific instructions to drop it at my door. Like where and even the description of everything. And they still manage to get it at the side door. Do they have different like numbers on the buildings or... Well, the the bottom floor is technically the same number, but oh. they're also because they're the basement of of our suite. Like it's it's technically only a duplex, but the landlord sort of. Well, how do you get mailed into each a one? quadplex? How do, they, how do they differentiate? I think I'm not 100 percent sure because I haven't like looked for his mailbox, but I think they have a mailbox right beside their door. So the mailman sort of has to go up the up the side of the house to their door to put the mail in their mailbox. And ours is on our porch steps. Yeah, but we have it's, little steps going up. If it's the same street address, like there has to be like, you know, 721 Westwood A or Westwood B, like or no. Westwood up. Like there <laughs> has think. to be something well you would think but it like hasn't been registered as that or something i don't know maybe the landlords didn't fucking do it properly <laughs> i'm just wondering She's like how do you get your anyway. mail <laughs> yeah like it comes normally we have like a little mailbox we usually get all of our mail fine but uh I sometimes know, we do get like the bottom how? person's mail in hours well because our our address is like on our porch 
So even though they share the address with us, that's why sometimes we get their mail in our mailbox. There we go. Let's flip that. And I'm good now. Huh. Because, yeah, they, I don't think they've ever gotten our mail, though packages have been delivered to their door because somehow they miss the upper big porch steps that are on the freaking that are you can see from the street real easy. Oh, yeah, because like I've met I've, I've well, not met. I've been and I've when I did property management like five, six years ago, I, I had properties like that. And if they were on a corner, it was easier because one would be on one street and the other one would be on another street. But yeah, they always had like A or B or something because like if the post office goes there, unless your name is inside your mailbox, I don't see how they would know where it goes. Huh. Yeah. That's strange. Yeah, it's weird. But uh all right. You got your dial selected, you said? Yeah. All right, boss man. Uh, start activating your ships, and yeah, you basically oh, yeah, have I the whole set first the speed. turn. Start the speed here. Yep. Set Added your speed. Three. All right, so I'll start off with the retrofits and flip it. Maneuver, because I I'll take the token for them. Where is it? There we go. Navigate. Sorry, not maneuver. Keep thinking maneuver. And now move down. Not worried about no fancy maneuvers right now. What's a fa what's the fastest ship we have on the board? And it's just the fighters, or I our think ships one can of my ships can get three, to four. Right? No, my uh, my MC thirty can go up to four, but it's a really? reinforcement. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fast boy. Actually, it looks pretty nice, too. Nice and sleek. And then the other one is just navigate as well. And I'll take... I'll take the token for it, sure. I don't need to change his speed or nothing yet, either. Yeah, this was when you start hoarding tokens and stuff. Let's just turn right again. Oh yeah, you're this one frigate that potentially can come in. That's that's a four here. Yeah. yeah. All right. See if the hammerhead can stay in the fight this time. <laughs> I could just dip, he, man. He was done. He's a scout. He's not meant to stand. He saw his predictors and he's like, "Fuck that." <laughs> hey man, in Rogue One, that. that thing took out two star destroyers. Remember that. Yeah. That's so just straight on the squadrons in now, or what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah, they're not going to do too much. I mean, Rogue, Rogue Squadron's going to move and shoot at nothing, because they can do That's that. That's cool. They're just blasting through space. <laughs> <laughs> Rogue One, what are you engaging? Air! They're just ah. making their presence known, that's all. <laughs> Rogue Squadron's the opposite of stealth. And that is me. All right, boy. Goes back to selecting command dials. Yep. And then do your first ship. All right, I will start off with the forget the the retrofits again. All right. Engineering, not going to do anything engineering related cuz they don't need anything. Not going to take the token. I already have a token. Just go move them. In Tokyo Drift. There we go. Let's 
Yeah, those guys can freaking that two turn on the end is really nice. That three movement. Fucking whip. Yeah, my it shit doesn't get that kind of maneuverability. <laughs> Bullshit. You don't ever see All the right. fucking Empire zipping around and doing crazy maneuvers. Just spamming and having overpowered fucking units. Yeah, that still somehow died of fucking like an X Wing. Yeah. X-Wings are kind of OP. Yeah. Yeah, I think they got a little bit of, like, plot-ish armor, where they're just made up to be better than they are. Or should be. I mean, you look at the movies, they're OP. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, I think it might, might just be the pilots, too. Because, like, think... it's usually, like, Luke and Poe who are, like, really doing the crazy shit. Well, I think Rogue One is the movie where I saw the most X-Wings blow up. Yeah, and we all know how that one ended up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So I've moved my one ship. Does you uh, are you activating anything? Is anything fucking jumping out at me? Yes, sir. That way, maybe I can't sing that or a fucking. <laughs> yeah, you'll get fucking cuffed. So... Well, you just can't sing it good. Because if you sing it too good, you'll pick up on the, <laughs> the algorithm. Like that? There you go. Yeah. Uh, uh, they don't really have rules for deploying uh, squadrons. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Well, actually, here here's what I'll do. I'm gonna take this as a squadron token, and on my squadron turn, I'm gonna forego their movement to deploy them. So I'll put them back in the ships right now. Because if you, I which you which one did you activate this one first? Yeah, yeah, activated him. Oh, okay. Well, I'm still going to pull him back because it's. I don't think you can, but on the off chance you could blow up that unit in one go, I would lose this TIE Fighters too. So I'm I'm going to take the token. I'm going to keep him in there until my squadron around. But that's uh that's me. All right. I've chosen Navigate for him again. I will uh, reduce his speed and potentially use the token, but I don't know. Yeah, the question is, is do you go for that one or do you go for that one? If you go for that one, you could potentially whip back around and then support your tra troop transport. Yeah. Yeah, these are some, some maneuvering, good maneuvering little guys here. I'm sure oh, I'm gonna I don't get some end there. people sometimes like, why are you helping your opponent? Because that's the <laughs> spirit. Because you're there to have fun, not win. Winning can be fun. All but... right, so yeah, he's uh he's moved. I didn't use the token. I just used the dial to reduce his speed to two. Okay. And I don't think I. Oh, I definitely don't have range. I mean, we can just we we can figure that out pretty quick. <laughs> So yeah, I, yeah I've, ain't uh, shit gonna be in range for a minute. That is well, next turn. That is him. These two will probably be in range. Oh yeah. All right, it will be squadrons now. Um, I don't think you have anything that can move and attack me over here, so I'm just gonna put my guys down. Yeah, sounds good. Go ahead and move. Uh, your oh. Oh. This is gonna go about as far as I thought it was. What? I'm fucking. I'm gonna have a chance to possibly take out one X-wing squadron, and then I'm gonna get fucked. <laughs> That's essentially what it is. 
Because your X-Wings don't have counter, so it's like if I get the jump on you, I can. All right, that's my squadron. That's, that's Rogue Squadron, isn't it, right there? Yeah, yeah, they got the special little yield Do they get extra attacks, or is it the same? They just have. I that. think it's the same. Uh, where are they? Oh, it they're is. Here. Yeah, they're the same yeah. all around. They just have that Rogue thing. And yeah. the X-Wings have escort. Why don't Rogue Squadron get escort? They're just not so they're yeah. just supposed to be by themselves all the time. They're literal rogues. <laughs> <laughs> um... I mean, that rogue rule, though, is pretty fucking nice. Yeah, the fact that they can just act independently is uh, pretty good. Because that means you just never have to use the squadron uh, tiles or tokens on them. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and we will select our thingamajigs again. Oh. Uh, and if you if you just hover over the tile and highlight it, you can use the numbers, not the numpad that does different stuff, just the regular numbers on the keyboard, and that'll change its state too. Oh, okay. And it nice. should tell you the name and stuff while you're changing it. Yeah, yeah I got a good, a better feel for what numbers are what on the dials now. Yeah, I was fucking learning it slowly but surely. Um, I have selected. All right, you you got first go. All right. Um, I will activate the uh, hammerhead first. The hammerhead has navigate again, and I will reduce his movement again to one. We can do two turn. Let's see if that moves him anywhere bad. Yes, that does. Uh, let's not do that. Oh no, he's covering up the undo. <laughs> um, do, do that. Oh, there we go. I mean, yeah, hit. No, hit oh, undo. No. Hit undo. Yeah, and, and then, then hit confirm. And then confirm. There you go. Oh, okay. All right. Nice. Yeah, you probably want to do it on that side, maybe. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, he moved to. He didn't turn any. Shit, I fucked that up. Yeah, no, he moved two, and it was like that. Should put him exactly back where he was. Are you moving? Yeah, two? I only want to move moving one. Oh, okay, yeah, there's five. I re I'm reducing his speed. Thank yeah, you. I'll just do that. There you go. Uh, next round, you'll have to. Oh, well, did you have a navigate token? You can use that token now, just reduce the speed again. Oh, I thought I had to use a token before I did any movement. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's all good, good though. I'll, uh, I'll probably be using it next turn to stop him. Oh, all let's right. flip. That's done. All right. Yeah, your, uh, your activation. Change your speed, sir. Oh, yes. I haven't been changing my speed. Keep forgetting about that. There we go. Firepower. I will use my modern token as well. So I used a firepower, concentrate firepower dial. I used the swarm, the squadron. I keep thinking swarm, but squadron token to activate and move them. And I will now attack on your front shields with the TIE fighters. Uh, if. Yep. I put them well, off can they to hit the, the yeah, yeah can, put them off to the side. Them, so yeah, you wanted move, them, yeah, you wanted them so I didn't they could hit the block front. them. That's all good. 
Yeah, yeah I mean, I could slide I'm them doing. over a little bit. There you go. But I, yeah, I just because I know our ships are going to be crossing here. I didn't want the fighters yeah. in the way. But uh, all right, so hit the Tie Fighter. That's going to be one blue die coming your way. All righty. Uh, that's one damage, sir. What do you want to do? I will deplete my shield. Now I have two red die coming at you. That's from the main ship, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was hoping for a fucking... For an aim? Or, or, yeah, from the fucking... Three damage. Oh, yeah, I'll scatter. Fucking shit. Scatter! Uh, that's them. Alright. Yeah, for these guys, I too picked squadron. So I'll have my two X wings there. Move in. Hmm, where am I gonna have to be? I might have to be here. And then this squadron will move over here. And what speed are they? Three. I might have to reduce his speed. Let's see here. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to reduce his speed. So I'll use the token to reduce speed. You're going to slam into something. The question is, do you want to slam into me? Yeah, because at least that way we both take damage. You're going to have to reduce your speed again. I think you're going to be just down to one now. Well, I already used... Yeah, yeah. I'm, well, yeah, I'm when you hit to... me, it reduces again. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're basically just going to be right in front of me, which means next turn I'm going to hit you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's happening again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, there's nothing I can do, so I'm I'm reduced to one, and I'll be like, yeah, it's right just whether or not you want to aim in a direction because otherwise, no, I'll hit you if you, you just yeah. aim straight at me. Well, no, 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 I mean like, if you turn, you'll be able to move next round in that direction. If we're facing each other, we're just gonna keep slamming into each other. Well, the only problem is if we end, you can probably you probably won't uh, hit me right because you'll just fly right through me. Which oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I only me. have two inches, so yeah, possibly. Yeah. Let's right, go. So yeah. And then I'll just end up getting moved back an inch, so I'll undo that and move there. All right. Um, but there was a collision. Yeah, we just both get a face down card to draw from your deck. Yep. yep, that's it. Uh, and then I guess you can shoot. And I've used the shoot. token. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, I'll shoot, sure. Uh, the X-Wings, obviously, into your tie wings over there. I think this is a foregone conclusion, but we'll do it here. It's a lot of aim, <laughs> but still four <laughs> damage. Well, they only got three health. Fucking my guy. <laughs> High fighters do. destroyed. That's and now the uh, the other X wings into the side of your transports. And there's another oh two aims and a crit. Oh wait, no, sorry, I don't roll four blue for them when I attack a ship. I roll yeah. one red. Yeah. So God check that damn here. it, Johnny, you cheat! <laughs> you're fucking, you're doing more damage to my ships than I, than my ships can do. Oh, yeah, so I, I assume you're going to scatter. Hey, oh, hell yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I would and, have three uh, damage on you earlier. My transport will, will also shoot. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. So one blue for the transport. Front to front. Ooh. Oh, so. Oh. Yeah, so you can't evade even. Yeah, so that's. 
Oh, well, it's just, just going one. to my shield. What am I doing? Yeah, you're <laughs> not going to take a card. Yeah, I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Whoa. You can get your shields yeah. to six? There's a there's a thing that has a shield of six? What? What? I thought nice. the highest shields were like four or five. That that thing says it, it goes up to six. That means there's a model somewhere with a shield of six. But uh just got well it's probably one of the bigger like the capital ships, probably. Yeah, maybe. Um Yeah, so that you did that ship, I did one ship. And both of my oh, yeah, you did both of your activated. Yeah. Fuck you! Oh, I hit done. Not the thing. I had my squadron token. So I will use the squadron dial just to deploy them. I could attack, but that's not going to help the situation. Uh, that's me, so it's just over to squadrons now. Uh, you have Rogue Squadron and your other squadron over there. Yeah, I think Rogue can come up and get a hit. Oh, no, I think they're just too far away. Yeah. From, like, everything. Darn. Yeah, I mean, you can All attack right. them if you want. Are you sure? Because it doesn't look like... Oh, wait, yeah, it does get <laughs> I was about to say, you're passing, okay. like, halfway through my thing. <laughs> Shit, sorry. Yeah, you no, have I that entire them. full arc there. Because I want them like back here so they don't get hit by those ties, potentially. Alright, yeah, and uh, I guess I'll shoot on your side arc again with Rogue Squadron this time. I think it's just one Rogue blue. Squadron is still one red. Oh, one red. Yeah. Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> um... I just have these ties, which so uh, I am not fixing those guys there. So I'm they're not, not stupid freaking... at all. I'm not doing that. <laughs> you sure? You don't want to come and play with It's the like I could, but it's like I don't have enough to kill a an X finger anyway. And then, uh, yeah, you just have your last guy, and that's it. That's our turn. Yeah, yeah he's just got to move. I'm going to go ahead he's and reset. He's going to be checking out these guys. But... Defense tokens. I already know I got a scan there, but he's going to go and check that out. And then go ahead and reset your defense tokens and pick your command dials. Yep. All right. That is, that is me. I'm good to go now. You got the first trip. I will activate the scout cruiser or corvette uh, firepower, and I'll use the navigate token to reduce his speed to zero, so he stays there. Yep. Gets me those reinforcements, and he's gonna shoot at your ship. I hope. Let's see, Let's see within red range. I think he's within red range. Red oh yeah, yeah, he's yeah red easy. All right, nice. And he, I had firepower, so it is three red. Oh, you use a navigate token. I got you. Yeah, I use the navigate token to stop him. Ah, oh, crit and damage. I Matter. assume. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That is me. Oh, let me show because <laughs> some people, I'm sure they don't know what scatter is. Oh yeah. <laughs> Scatter cancels all attack die. And there's only like really like really small ships have it. Yeah, um, like the nice transports and that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, these units 
and your transport. To be honest, I would pick these Imperial ones over your transport any day. Oh, yeah. Because they have longer range. Yeah. And side guns. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. If <laughs> if my choice was between two of those units and one of those hammerheads, I would pick two of those in a heartbeat. Uh, I don't know the hammer. I like the hammerhead. That's got that nice what's front. What's the points for a hammerhead? 41. 41. Points yeah. for this thing. 28. Yeah, I would take two of those in a heartbeat. Uh, yeah. You're, they're only four points more than my transports, damn. Yeah, right? That's a hell of a nice upgrade. All right, I uh, think the only difference is health, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, over to me. Ay, 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 ay. I'm... Over here. I'm going to activate. No, wait, that's for that. Hold on. Did I put these in the wrong spot? Oh, hold on. That, yeah, that's supposed to be. <laughs> I keep fucking putting them in the wrong holders because obviously I need the squadron one for that guy. <laughs> and I, yeah, so I, yeah. Yeah, that's on. all good. I, 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 <laughs> I keep mixing. I keep getting them mixed up because I have too many in the same unit. But yeah, I'm just I'll, I'll do the right guy because I got mixed up. But I'm I'm gonna do the concentrate fire. I have to do my movement. There's there's no way I'm gonna. Uh, I can't clear you. Oh, that's three. That's Yeah, I, I can't clear you. I can't even do a one-inch move. Well, were you, weren't you moving three? Because I don't reduce your speed. I reduce my speed. I was at two. Oh. Came in at two. I thought you came in at three. No, I came in at two for both of them. I came in at three at last game because I was coming in hot. But, uh... <coughs> oh, excuse me. I can't, I can't get away from you. Like that's that's the, how I, I'm going to get you. I, yeah, so uh, <laughs> that's my move, and I'm reduced to one inch now. And <laughs> Is that what this is going to become? We both take a card. <laughs> yeah. We can only take one more damage each. Yeah, that's pro they're probably going to blow each other up right now. Um, and then I have two red dice coming at you. That's like a hunt. Uh, that's two damage, but you're going to use scatter, aren't you? Uh, yeah, you don't have any squadrons or anything, so yeah, I'll just scatter. It's already flipped from last turn, so I'll just keep it flipped. I yeah, forgot so to refresh that's, it. That's me. I'm pretty sure that's it. I think those two ships are going to blow each other up. It's your turn anyways for them, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, Unless so you, when I activate Squadron, no, I did not use Navigate. If I use Squadron, do the ships activate first? Because I might be able to blow you up with the ships before I have to move, or do I move? Uh, let's check. Because either way, someone's dying. <laughs> So you're supposed to... Reveal Commando. Oh, okay, so you're supposed to reveal your command dial, attack, and then move. Okay. And you so do I'm... get to attack up to two attacks. Okay, yeah. Uh, from... Attacker and target must be attack, attack. It can perform a second attack, but it must originate from a different hull zone. So if I have two hull zones on you, I can shoot twice, but I yeah. don't over here. Yeah, so don't. does that mean that my ships activate an attack, or do they wait until after I move? Uh. 
they can spend the dial at the appropriate time to do so if the player wants to reserve it for later round they they immediately, they immediately spend, spend the dial the and place the matching token but that's to get a token you immediately spend it so i spend the dial at the appropriate time to do so does that mean now like when is the appropriate time to resolve your dial uh It says they can spend that the dial at the appropriate time to do so. So I guess whenever you want. So like the navigate dials you would use when you're moving and you're using the squadron one, so you can just use it whenever you want. Because yeah, you're supposed to reveal the dial and then put it on this thing's base, and then when you use it, you take it off. Yeah. So yeah, you can you can activate them. I'll I'll do the shots with the uh the big ship first, just in the event that that does anything. Wait, no, you haven't scattered yet, have you? Mm -mm. Ah, it's not like this thing's got firepower anyway. Let's fire that one blue guy. Hey, I got the oh. aim. <laughs> no scatter for you. <laughs> Does uh, evade allow? Because uh, it's a blue die. So well, even if are, you evade, are you going to pick? I'm picking scatter. Yeah, a hundred percent. Um. So what happens if I take evade and force you to re-roll it? I I'm I mean on a blue die, I don't think I can get no damage, but yeah, I've still but I still expended still... your. Let's see. Would is I get some... scatter back? <laughs> Where is the evasion rules? Oh, evasion. Th those are over here on the card. It just tells you what it does. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is like look in the rule book because it might have a better explanation of like how to use the things and how they work. Uh, status commands. It says I force you to re defense it. tokens. Uh, the defender cannot spend it more than once per attack. Attack dice are rolled, and the the attacker spends their accuracy icons. Then the defender spends one or more of their defense tokens. When they spend a ready defense token, they flip it over. Oh, so you, you would have already spent I it. already spend my accuracy. So if I and force you to re-roll, re it wouldn't really it. do anything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So you took scatter, yeah. and then I will... That was to my front, wasn't it? Yeah. It still counts as a damage. Ev evade won't do anything. Yeah, because unfortunately it's the blue die, so there's no way for me to not deal a damage. Yeah, that's that's him then. He's they're gone. All right. Uh, God. The transport's putting in work this time. Explosion! Damn, I didn't think that would go like that. Who would have thought well, crashing either... into bullshit would work? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did it to great effect last time. <laughs> I guess my squadrons are going to do like nothing now, though. But that's fine. They can move. And do their thing. Flip that over. Yeah, there is. Oh no, Rogue Squadron has to wait till the squadron phase because I yeah, didn't. Yeah, because I can only Rogue control squadron. two. Yeah, so I move one. No, I move one. Does that get me within the zone? No, of course not. Fuck, I gotta undo it now. There we go. There you go. Yeah. There. Nice. How the hell do I hit the dot? There we go. I gotta like get under it. I think I can hit button. I can hit undo, but I can't hit done. Oh. Uh, I'll just delete the... Oh, fuck. Well. Well, then. That worked perfect. That definitely did. 
Oh, uh, here. It was these guys. I'll clone the card. I got it. Copy the card. Okay. Nice. Just delete all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, if you want to get out of there. Oh, I can't even get. Is it I done? just got to hit done on. Yeah. There we go. All right. There you go. All right, that's them. That's both of my ships, actually. Yeah. Okay. And these guys have activated, so they're blue now. Squadrons. Did you hit my front shields? I did something last round. Did I only do one damage? Maybe. I don't even remember changing my shield. That's why I'm like, did you? Yeah, I know I shot at you. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I took a damage. Yeah, my, probably. That's probably what happened. Why am I measuring with a regular um, pleb with my stick? <laughs> Oh, well, you're with it. Why am I doing that? You're in range. Yeah, because I shot you. Um, so. Oh, but what I can do is check range for my other guns, which I doubt. Yeah, I don't have anything. All right. I will do... The first TIE Fighter, which is a blue die, on your front shield. I have a damage. Want to do something? Um, where is my... Yeah, yeah I'll, uh, I'll redirect it. To wait. I'll redirect it to the butt shields. All right. And the next TIE Fighter is the same thing. Another blue die. Yep. And another damage. All right. Yeah, I'll take the I'll take the one damage on the front shields. Okay. I got no other tricks up my sleeves. And then now the ship has one red. That's two damage. Uh, I will evade. And. What does evade do at this range? We're at long range? Uh, let me double check, but I believe so. Yeah, we are at long range. All right, so that just cancels one die so that... Uh, yeah. Shit. And then now it's my movement. Luckily, I don't give a fuck about which direction these things are really facing. Like, obviously, I do for which guns I'm aiming. Oh! But the shields are the same. You can just activate this, and it shows you ranges it, uh, off your ship if you hit R. I think that's the firing arcs. Well, it's the firing arcs, and then the ranges are the, like, the broken up bits. Do you see what All I right. mean? Like, the, like, this first area, I think, is short range. This is blue, and this is red. I think. Looks about right. Yeah, it's measured from the edge of the base. Is that how it's supposed to be? I would, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it's measuring basically from that yellow bit. No, it's measuring literally from the edge of the base. I mean, oh. if you're all right with that, we can do that, but that is going to be a little bit more range than what we I mean, been that doing. makes it easier for us cuz we don't have to finagle the ruler anymore then. But I like the ruler. That's fine. <laughs> we can use it. That's <laughs> so fine. it's up to you. I I mean, whatever works easiest for us. I, I'm I'm not going to force you.
Yeah, that's that's fun. I mean, yeah, that's cool. Take take advantage of what's this one supposed to be for? Honestly, no freaking clue. All right, fair enough. All <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, that's that's uh that's me. So now it's a new round. Or no, squadrons. Did you have any squadron that didn't do anything? Oh, I I did. Uh yeah, the the two orange ones have not done anything. Come on, Woke Rogue Squadron, don't you fucking step up to these three <laughs> TIE Fighters, boy. Oh, don't worry, they're coming. Oh, you're not in my... both of my firing. All right. Yeah, that is uh, kind of is I, I saw it, I didn't think it was accurate enough. Like, I, I was, like, worried, but, like, God. God bless the dude who, uh... put you the effort into making this. this. Yeah, you know... It's like, it's not 100% perfect, but it's amazing. All right. New hey, round. All of my squadrons. Not good. Yeah, let's do this. And now you have the choice between your escort frigate or two more squadrons. And those will come in at the start of the next turn. Love it. What? All right. Uh, when he, uh, that. I don't know his name, but one of your friends came in here. Oh, did he? Yeah, the guy who like uh, who usually comes in and just like oh, hangs Thomas? out. It's not Yuri. It's, <laughs> I didn't hear uh, him. Thomas. I guess I didn't hear he him said, join oh, at all. Oh, my bad. And then he just <laughs> just left. Oh, what? Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, it's, it's like not in here fucking. And even if we were, you could watch. It's like whatever. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not shy. No, that's a lie. I'm totally am. Yeah, I'm 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 obnoxiously shy about my sex life, you know, because my dick is so large. It's you know, I don't like people judging me. You know what I mean, Johnny? Yeah, you don't. You know, they they think you're gonna act a certain way, and then you don't. <laughs> they think I'm just out there hurting people, but I don't. I'm not a monster. <laughs> oh, You'll flip my freaking <laughs> defense tokens. Yeah, hey, flip your fucking defense. Oh yeah, I gotta flip mine too. My. Uh... Scatter's the best shit ever. Can you imagine if you had a large ship with scatter? That's the equivalent of like covenant slip space jumps in like orbit of a planet or something, you know? It's like just moving a giant <laughs> frigate. Fuck. I uh, that I troop transports think... fucked if I get over there again. Alright, yeah, I'm good to go now. All right, and are you choosing the frigate or two squadrons at the start of your next? Oh turn? yeah, frigate or two squadrons. I will take the frigate. Okay, so just select your command dials now. At the start of your next turn, they'll come in, and then you can go ahead and get your ship, my guy. The oh, that hammerhead, impressive front guns. Yeah, yeah, it's a. But luckily, you're not within blue range. I don't think. Oh, you no. are. Oh, is it? Yeah, because this that's black. Yeah, black, blue. Yeah, black, red. blue, red. And then fuck right. no. <laughs> what does that last one do? I, I wish, I wish I knew. <laughs> that's a slip space. So that's it's how you a, jump. Yeah, it's, it's a hyperspace jump. Oh, maybe movement ranges. Inches? One, two. No, wow. no, it wouldn't even be that. No. What the fuck? Because that's like two inches. I don't know, man. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, I'll activate the hammerhead first. And I got squadron. And that will go to these X Wings back here. Wow. Oh, it's fucking Todd. Why am I not hearing people join? No idea. Ah. Up, Thomas popped in and fucking left. Apparently, that was weird. Oh, ah. fuck up! What's wrong with you? I'm a bird. My bird impression. You sound like Chris Pratt trying to audition for Jurassic Park. Shut up. 
Alright. Yeah, I'll start. Uh, I'll shoot. Oh, you, I only have one facing. Uh, I was. I just. I didn't even need to ask. I just had to hover over your thing. I'm seeing you're playing Armada. Oh, you're doing Old Re Old Republic. No. Oh, okay. It just says Old Republic. Oh yeah, no. That's just. Well, it, that's the one you need to load because it's it. That has all the extra Empire and Rebel stuff, and we found uh -huh. all the Old Republic ships for Sith and Republic as well. But yeah, if you're gonna play the Clone Wars one, you do the normal one because mm -hmm. there's only like six clone stuff in here. But it has all the Rebel and Empire stuff plus extras. But I didn't get a name. I'm ooh. Uh, so crit so and how do you, how do you uh, guys yeah, feel joking. about? Yeah, how do you guys feel about the new Matrix movie that's coming out? That's gonna be dope. They're basically just gonna do like a fucking redone of the first one, basically. Because it's gonna like that. That's the thing. People don't fucking realize like, which is confusing. Because like, if you watch the movies, they explained it. Neo was the fifth iteration of himself. They had been through this whole process of humans finding out they're in the Matrix, leaving, making a colony, getting wiped out by machines five times. And every time there's one dude that shows up who starts it all. And that was Neo. So he's just going to do it again. You know, if he did really die when he fought Smith at the end of the third one, He's just going to do it again. That's just what his life is. And that's what I think it is, you know, because he sees uh, Serenity in the Matrix again and they don't remember each other, but then they slowly start to realize they're in the Matrix again. So, you know, just they're basically just going to retell the first movie again, probably. But and I remember uh, someone explaining as to why um, they don't have uh, Morpheus isn't in the movie. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think they got, they got got. Yeah, yeah he, he got fighter. he got killed. No, no, wait, I'm talking about the. Oh. He's talking about Tie Fighters oh, getting fucked. I thought you talking about him. Wait, well, did you select that one or did it matter? No, that was the one I selected. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to show you. Well, well, also him. like the only people who continued over was Neo and Serenity, and yeah, Neo. Um, I uh, I Morpheus, I, Morpheus was got... a real dude. Like Neo yeah. technically isn't. He's like a a kind of like a. A glitch in the system kind of thing. He he was created by the machine. A ghost in the shell. Yeah, kind of. It, Did it? It's more like a reference to like I robot more than anything. Like why do why do robots when you store them in a shipping container all group up together on one side instead of standing spread out? It's like ghosts in the machine. <laughs> like we don't know why they do this thing, but they do. But uh, yeah, like he he was like. He he existed and like he's perpetual, but Morpheus was just a guy. So like mm -hmm. he there there may be because the Matrix literally just plays on that thing of like life is nothing but cycles and continuous over like replaying the same uh, cycles over and over again. So it's like if Morpheus existed, then died, and now there's a new cycle starting, there would be a Morpheus like guy that would yeah, come again. One. Slightly slimmer face, still bald. Well, that's probably glasses. what Morpheus looked like when he started. He was probably in his 20s. Because remember, they said, the yeah, older no. you are, when you come out of the Matrix, the more likely your mind's going to re like reject those ideas and you're going to go crazy. So Morpheus was probably like younger than 20 when he came out of the Matrix. Like That's kind of shitty to think of, is that like the first people starting the the colony of zion were probably younger than 20 <laughs> so it's like a bunch of teenagers living in a mine having to learn how to make food and figure shit out no wonder they ended up eating like protein based and weird shit yeah um, Dude, that's, his, that's... his actual story is really fucking weird he dies what in an that? mmo <laughs> that that's the uh the tool i use to make it real real small that's what i'm gonna use for the other stuff why is it uh -huh. so thin because it's point one scale in every direction. It becomes 2D. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright. Uh, Can we do it in the reverse and make 3D uh, obstacles again? I don't know if you can. Because, <laughs> like, it just made it flat. It's still a 3D object. It's just flat now. Like, yeah, cause you it's, can't it's make a 2D object. Which is point like one millimeter. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you could do that with a 2D object and make it into a rock. There's also that new fucking Pathfinder game. 
um, that came out. Have you guys looked into it? I did not select my thing, but I was going to do... That's fine. Oh, wait. No, you did shoot at me, so I don't have that. I'm going to do... Uh, fucking, what's it called? Uh, my squadrons again, obviously. And... Oh... Let's see what the rain... I can shoot your squadron and you, though. So I'm going to put a blue on the front of that and a blue on the X-Wings. So this one's for the X-Wings. They take a damage. That's, the deal. That's it. And then this one's for the Hammerhead. He's going to take a damage. Unless you want to do something. Are you redirecting, I'm going to assume? Uh, yeah, I'll redirect it somewhere else. Somewhere. I'll redirect it to the left. Okay. How many hull points do you have on that thing? You have five. Yeah. Evade would only make you roll. And yeah, because we're at medium. And I do one damage with those TIE fighters there. Fuck that. So squadron, I activate them, and I'm fucking jumping on these. <laughs> these fucking... Yeah, I'm like, murder! <laughs> yeah, they're, they're dead. I'm still gonna roll because I wanna. I'm fucking rolling extra dice. Woo! No. Oh yeah, I did roll seven. Didn't I? <laughs> you can I'll get, get rid of dead. the crit. <laughs> you can get rid of the crit. Yeah, get out of here. Get out. Get out of here, Fui Wee. Um. And then I will proceed to do my. Two. Oh, so I roll. So I live my life. A Go nice two inch move. Time. My mama told me. So this uh, this objective is resolved. I assume that's where I got my frigate from. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's done. I can okay, sweet. Right. You have saved those people, and they are aboard the fucking hammerhead. <laughs> saved. <laughs> I mean, don't die, don't leave, yeah. don't crash. Well, I, you know what I'll do? Well, I don't let the fuck take him a jig. Your goal is to uh, fucking, what is it, hyperspace? Light speed. Uh, light Early speed jump from there to be able to get those people out. So you can keep collecting more. You can leave them. Only good things will happen the more people you escape. You will lose that ship. It will be out of combat. But they're not dead, dead. They're just, they left. They're good. They escaped. Yep. There you go. So scenario wise, good for you. And you might get bonus units for it or something. Uh yeah, so it's uh wait, did you My do all your ships? Right Are you done? No, I no, I just did the hammerhead and then you did your transport, I think, right? Yeah, so it's yeah, it's over to you. Uh you're pretty right, much hey. finishing up this turn because all my TIE fighters did their stuff on my turn, so yeah, you it's pretty much all you. Alright, so yeah, I activated repair dial, but instead of doing the repair, I'm going to take a token. And take, then they take a repair hmm. token. Yeah. I'm a garbage man. Hey, I'm I I mean my guys will live. Little fucking dumpster babies. Hmm? Alright, so at the end of this turn that thing will resolve, I guess. Yeah, so that means you'll have reinforcements on the following turn after that as well. You All just right. keep them rolling in, don't you? Yeah, well for now. Now I'm forget now I gotta maneuver into the other ones. Oh shit. Uh all right. I'm gonna. Uh, I'll hop back on later. I need to go make food. It's six thirty. All right. 
You have fun. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Good. Yeah, gone already. Uh, yeah. So now it's just squadron. So I'll, I'll rogue squadron will move. God, I was hoping I was close enough. Yeah. Hear me. And then these guys will move. Like, I'm going to bring Road Squadron in so I can use them. Have yet to use them, but soon. <laughs> I, don't, I'm, I don't know if I can outrun you. I might be able to. Let me see. What's your movement? On who? On which? The X-Wings and stuff? Three. Oh, uh, I, my TIE Fighters can outrun you. I have movement four. Oh. And you only have movement three. Yeah. You just got to keep running. If I want to, yeah. Just or just just need to stay next to my ship, to be honest, because you just put yourself within range of my guns. Yeah, but you gotta be able to activate those guns. What do you mean? I can I can. No, I'm talking about for my ship. Remember? Yeah, can, yeah. No, that's what I'm, we can fire but, twice at squadron or ships any round. If I get engaged, the only thing is, I don't know it, so I'm not 100 percent on it. That's not what I'm banking on. But what if? Two squadrons get engaged. How does targeting them work? Oh, you you can only kill one. Well, no, like I mean, if I went in and got and engaged one of your tie squadrons, yeah. and then was engaged by another one of your tie squadrons, a ship that's out of that engagement shooting in. Oh, that doesn't a, there? Yeah, it doesn't affect that. Okay. Yeah. So they can just you still just, shoot. Yeah, in you just shoot. Yeah, they're just they units. Want. Yeah. Okay. But it's like uh, I yeah, just it's new. just like the, the TIE fighters and stuff. Like each ship has a specific thing they have to roll against squadrons. So like I get one blue die. So like it's the exact opposite of squadrons. You know, your your ships are always gonna be shittier shooting at squadrons. But uh yeah, that's your turn, isn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, select command dials. And you are able to activate that frigate into squadrons whenever you want. So the the squadrons will have to wait till the squadron round unless you use that frigate to activate them, which you could do. Oh, so the squadrons are on, like they're coming in with it. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah, fortunately, the... I've already picked my things, so. Uh, but I can shoot. Uh, oh, it's well, you, coming you on the field now, though. Now. Yeah, you can. You're so, we're at the start of the command selection phase again. So you're you're going to activate that ship first. Uh, oh, because yeah, I have to move him from the edge. No, I'm not going to activate him first. I'm going to activate the hammerhead. Yeah, so you you can go ahead and deploy him wherever you want. So you okay? Yeah, as long as it's like a like within like two or three inches of the board edge, that's fine. Oh, I'm just touch there. Yeah, yeah. Fine. That's fine. And then, yeah, if you want to bring in the uh, X-Wings and stuff, you would just get the squadron thing on him. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hammerhead has chosen squadron. He will activate Rogue Squadron. The squadron will move up. Garbage man. Who are you trying to murder? And I think I have your... Do I have an arc on you? Because I have range to you with my close range, but does that count as hitting you? What? You, yeah, you you have it on my side. Okay. Oh yeah, my, well I'm my side, but what about my front gun? Does my front gun have? Is my front gun able to hit anything? Um, that's up to you. It has the base in there. Well, I'll leave it up to it's you. Past, you're the defender. It's past the it's yellow whatever thing. Whatever you think is fair. It's past the yellow thing, so I'm cool with it. Yeah, so okay. like I just use that yellow thing as a as a kind of baseline. So like, yeah, you're you're definitely past that, so that's fine. All right, so I will shoot the side guns at you first. So one blue, and it's going into your cruiser or your your transports. Hey, get rid of the scatter. <laughs> oh, I already had it flipped. I didn't flip it back. And then it's just one damage. And then the front arc will shoot, and that is two and a blue, I believe. Yeah, two red and a blue. This is on your back. Ooh, three damage. Uh, I will evade. Reroll this one. But the, the two damage. The double. Yeah. 
All right. Hey. Don't I mean, you don't have it. any other. Yeah. It's two damage only. All right. Ah. <laughs> All right, so he just took two hold points. Oh wait, sorry, wait. Oh, because that that was on the rear. Okay, so that was on the one. rear technically. Yeah, so I yeah. take, so I take, you one. take one only. Gotcha. I will put this back. All right. And then Rogue Squadron will shoot up a Tie Tie Fighter Squadron. Garbage. Garbage day. And they get him. Gosh. All right. My turn. They have activated. They're blue now. Oh, sorry, he's got to move. Uh, he's only moving one inch. Yeah, do you? And ten. There. All right. Actually, I will turn this. That's a navigate. Watch your token. I have range on nothing. Stop turning, you fool. <laughs> oh, I think that's the one. Turn up. That's fine. That's where I need to go. And that's me. So back over to you. All right. Uh, I'll activate the... Transports, engineering, I'll use the engineering and the token. So that gives me a total of three engineering and I'll get rid of a card. And that is, oh, he's got to move too, I think. Yeah, he's moving. He's got moving. Just your speeds. Yes, sorry, he's supposed to be a one. Bad job. He crashed so much. Yeah, your stuff's like all at low. But I mean, at the moment, you're kind of maneuvering the monitoring. Yeah. Just drifting around. All That's right. your turn. Yep. I have a squadron dial. I'm going to activate. So the ties are going to attack Rogue Squadron real quick. I don't think it matters, but boom, yeah, three, three damage. damage. All right. Then. Yeah, right gun's going to shoot the rogue squadron. It's a... Wait, dude. Yeah, rogue squadron doesn't have counter, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, it's just a blue die, so just take another one. And then... All right. 
I don't have a rear gun. So that doesn't help. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's. Um, oh. All right. And on my movement, I'm at two. Oh, nope, not what I wanted to do. There we go. All right. Yeah. And that's me. Um, and then my TIE fighters are actually going to. Okay. <laughs> Come after me. <laughs> Which they will probably not do. <laughs> yeah, that was one health against the cruiser, too. Hey man, you could always yeah, they can't repair. You could always take yeah. Rogue Squadron and get them to leave, or sacrifice them here, Johnny. Are we gonna change the cannon? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's your ship. Uh, I have one ship left. Or just put that. I think it's that one. Should be that one. Yeah, squadron. So I'll deploy the, the two squadrons out of them. Sure. Couple more X wings. Come to the side. There we go. Yeah, so that's their that's their turn. Yeah. Because you're not gonna be able to attack none. And then he moves. He he comes in hauling ass. He drifting too. Everyone drifting in the rebel fleet. <laughs> yeah, y'all have a lot more maneuverability than a lot of mine. And that's him. All right. Okay. Uh, it's just to the squadron thing, so you go first. Yeah, my two squadrons will move, and that's it. Because, yeah, so those guys have moved. They are orange. You guys should be blue right now and will become orange. All right. All right. All right. That's doing a turn. All right. Yep. And that's everything for me. All right, you're up then. Okay, I will flip, navigate. Uh, the hammerhead will not increase speed, but I will give him an extra turn on his one speed. Oh, you can't. You can't go up to three. I have to give him more speed. Can't give him a third turn. Uh... Or give him a second turn somewhere else. 
Like, you're not supposed to have a third turn. You only have one. You get one turn at one inch, one turn at two inch, and then nothing. Uh, at one speed, though, I have two turn. Which is what I'm Oh, at. you're at one inch right now. I, uh, I got yeah. you. Yeah, yeah I and I you... can't go up to three, so oh. I have to just go up to two and take the take it like that. Oh, and you're not you weren't shooting? Oh fuck, yeah, he's gotta shoot first. Undo confirm done. Yeah, that's what I forgot about. Oh Click. there we go. Uh yeah, long range. So only my reds. I don't have any reds on that side. I can't even. Like, yeah, I can't shoot anything, so it's just a move. Hmm. Uh, is it? You gonna go off the board again? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can turn. He's maneuverable. <laughs> He's good. He's good. All right, there we go. That's him. All right. Uh, that's your turn with him. All right. Concentrate fire dial. Oh, yeah, let me put my defenses back. And I'm going to... Two red on your rear shield. And my side gun can hit your side, but you're obstructed, so I'm going to lose a die. So that's going to be two on the rear, because you're not within black range. And I'm using my concentrate fire to get the extra one on the front. And then I'm losing one on my side. So it's basically two. So here's the first two on your rear. As a crit. That's on my my butt. Oh, darn! Does it hit the butt, or does my side angle make it side? I can I can hit either. They're within my firing arc. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll redirect the crit to the side and take it on the shields. Then okay. actually, no. Um, I'm going to evade. And cancel the crit. All right. Then my side gun's going to hit your side shield. Oh, wow. Oh. Nothing. That sucks. <laughs> That's sad. Uh, and I'm at speed three right now. Um. So finicky sometimes. There's so little buttons. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Fun a mini yo. See me to me. Uh Alright, that's that's them. So he's done. Alright. Back over to you. Well I'll, I'll flip him, engineering, engineering token. And that's that's me, for him. He's got to move. That's that's all. He's moving one still. Yep. Yeah. With two maneuverability. So currently, you have 
that ship and this ship have survived fine. Yep. I'm going to murder them. Murder the survivors. That is him. Oh, that was your turn. So that, uh, yeah, that was the whole. That was the whole thing for him. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're on a new phase. I need my defense tokens back. Uh, I'm gonna get a repair token. Moving. <laughs> You've been the same button. You got it. There you go. God. <laughs> um, check range. Well, they would have. The yeah, range would have been I, done before. You. Oh yeah, medium. that's right. But I don't, I don't have any rear guns. Until so, yeah, you wouldn't they weren't able and to. And I don't them. think I don't think you're in my firing arc. Here, check. Yeah, no, I was in your butt, your butt arc. Yeah, there ain't nothing in my arc. Man. All right, man. Over to you. All right, I believe this is the right one. Yeah, I want him to uh, concentrate fire, take the token, and then he's going to move. The concentrate fire token aren't as good. Just one reroll ain't the same as getting an extra attack die. <laughs> yeah. Boy, something. Uh-huh. And that's uh that's him. Uh, just have squadrons to move. I think you just have squadrons to move to now. Yep. Okay. Uh, I do. I activate my squadrons first. Yeah, you activate one first, and then I activate one, and then activate one. Hey guys, how you doing? And they're gonna shoot into him because they're rogue. Which we already know doesn't end well for TIE Fighters. Yeah, four. And, uh, yeah, I don't think any... Yeah, I mean, yeah, you have those guys. These guys I don't think can hit anything. No, yeah, so they can't gonna... attack me, so I don't care. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then don't forget your squadrons all the way in the corner. Yep. Yeah. I've got to move. And then, unfortunately, as discussed, I've got to go because it oh, is okay. five. No problem. Well, we'll stop here and finish it up in a little while. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll uh, let you know when I'm back. Yeah, no problem, man.